All right, so for today's work, we are going to look at power law of logarithm. Um, so what we're going to start with, we're going to start solving for a non-exponent. We've done some of this before, solving for a non-exponent, but we're going to explore it even a little bit further. Uh, and we talked about this before, uh, but again, right now we're going to look at the actual law. Um, so let's start with... The example number one, suppose you invest $100 in an account that pays 5% interest compounded annually. The amount A in dollars in the account after any given time T in years is given by A equals to 100, 1.05 to the power of T. How long will it take for the account in this um, amount in this account to double? So the equation is already given to me, and then I'm looking at, I'm looking to solve for t. When the account is going to double. So originally what I have in this account is I have $100. So for it to double, it's going to become, it's going to be $200. So that means a is equal to 200. And I'm going to solve for t. So that's going to be 200 equals to 100, 1 1.05 to the power of t. In order for me to solve for t, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 100 over. So it's going to become 200 over 100 equals to 1.05 to the power of t. Then I'm going to have to solve for the exponent t. And we said in order for us to be able to bring the exponent down, we have to take the log of both sides. So the log of 200 over 100, that's 2, and then 1.05 to the power of t. Sorry, I forgot to write the log, because when you take the log, you have to take the log of both sides. And by taking the log, that forces, so that forces that t to come down here, and that becomes log of 2 is equal to t log of 1.05. And now it's a multiplication, so I can bring the log of 1.05, and that's going to be log of 2 divided by log of 1.05 equals to t. And I can solve for t, and it's going to be approximately 14.2. Okay, now remember, because this is a um, uh, word, you're going to have to put a therefore statement. And then you're going to say, therefore, it's going to take about 14.2 years for this, um, uh, for the $100 to double in this account. So in this, in this example, we use the power law of logarithm to help solve for a known exponent. And the power law states that if I have log base bx to the power of n, n, it's equal to n times log of base b x, where b has to be a positive number that's not equal to 1, and x has to be a positive number. Now, how can I prove this? So to prove this, we're going to let w equals to log of b, um, x, log of base bx. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to write it in exponential form. So to write it in exponential form, it's going to be b to the power of w equals to x. So we looked at this example yesterday that we can go from logarithm to exponential. Now you're going to raise, raise both sides to the exponent of n, okay? So that's going to be b to the power. So we're going to raise both exponents. Actually, let me write it in a different step here. So we're going to do, let's keep it red, b to the power of w equals x. And now I'm going to raise both of them to the power of n. Now apply power law of exponents. So the power law of exponents says that 
when I have exponent to the exponent, it multiplies. So that's going to be b w n equals to x to the power of n. Now, if I'm going to write this as a logarithmic expression, the logarithmic expression says that log of base b, so remember that, log, and then whatever your base here is going to go in the base, of your answer, so of x to the power of n, is equal to your exponent, which is wn. Now, what do we know about w? So if you look back here, w is equal to log of base bx. So I'm going to replace that w with log of base bx. So that's going to be log of base b x to the power of n is equal to n times w or w times n, so I can write this as n times w or w times n, doesn't matter which way, right? So remember that I'm replacing that w with log base bx, so it's going to be n times log base bx. So if you look here, I proved the power law of logarithm. All right, that proved it. So if you're looking at this, these are the steps to prove. Remember what I had to use here is I had to go from exponential form to, uh, or logarithmic form to exponential form and then vice versa in order for me to be able to do that. So, so we're gonna evaluate each of the following uh, by practicing the power law of logarithm. So, Remember that a few of the rules that we talked about before. We said that if you have log of base a of a to the power of b, the log of base a and the a, they cancel each other to give you b, to give you the exponent, right? So if I'm going to use this one to evaluate, I can rewrite this. So that's going to be um, log of base 3. 9 is 3 to the power of 2, so that's going to be 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 4, right? So what I did is I changed that 9 to 3 to the power of 2. Now, what is that, what's that equal to? Because I have power to the power, I can write it as log base 3, 3 to the power of 8, so I multiply the 2 by the 4. Now, you see that I have the same base, the log and the, the, the base, they cancel each other, and that's going to equal to 8. I didn't even have to use a calculator. Now, I can also use a different um, method, which is the power law of logarithm. Um, so because I have log base 3 of 9 to the power of 4, I can bring down that power. So that's going to be 4 log base 3 of 9. Now, 9 is 3 to the power of 2. Okay, so I change the 9 into 3 to the power of 2. The log base 3 and the 3, they cancel each other, so I'm going to be left with just 2. So it's going to be 4 times 2, which is equal to 8. So you see that I've got exactly the same answer. All right, so we're going to try different methods. Um, you can pick whatever methods you feel more comfortable with. So what I'm going to do here for the first one is I'm going to use the... Um, I'm going to use the simplify and evaluate using uh, using the log base to the power of b equals to b. So I'm going to use the first rule. Let's try that. So that's going to be log base 2. 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And then that's to the power of 5. So that's going to be log base 2, 2 to the power of 15 using the uh, exponent law. Because I have the same here, so my answer is going to be 15. For this method, I'm going to use the power law of logarithm. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 5, 125. to the power of a half. I'm going to bring the half over. Y 
125 is 5 to the power of 3 and the reason why I'm using 5 is because the base of the log is 5 so I want to match that and you see this is going to cancel so I'm going to have a half times 3 and that's going to be 3 over 2 and that will be my final answer. You can always try on the calculator and see this would be your final answer. <clears throat> All right, so thinking back to example one, we had the equation two is equal to 1.05 to the power of t, t. We could have written this in logarithmic form as log base of 1.05 to equals t, but uh, there's no way to change two to a power with a base of 1.05, so there's no way for me to, um, to do 1.05 to the power of something equals to two. Uh, so you cannot just uh, type this in your calculator to evaluate because most scientific calculator can only evaluate logarithm in base 10. Um, so we need the power law of logarithm instead. Um, so anytime you want to evaluate a logarithm that's not base 10, so if you, again, I told you that in, before that most calculator, they just do the log of base 10. But if you have a calculator that have this button, Right? So you can evaluate log of any base. If you don't, then you're stuck and then you have to use that, that formula that we're going to talk about. So anytime you want to evaluate a logarithm that's not base 10, such as log of 1.052, you can use the change of base formula. So the change of base formula is, um, so if I have a log base B of M is the same thing as writing log of M and that's base 10 divided by log of B. So what I, the way I think about it is that the base here, which is B is gonna go in the base and the denominator and then the, um, the M, which is in the, is gonna go in the, numerator. And that's if m, m must be greater than 0, and then b must be greater than 0, and it cannot equal to 1. Okay? So given that formula, we can determine that the log of uh, base 1.05, 2 is equal to the log of 2, divided by the log of 1.05, right? And this is what we exactly ended up with using the power of logarithm before, okay? So if you go back here, if I can go back, right, we ended up with a log two divided by log of 1.05, right? And this is what we just did. All right, so um, if you're going to evaluate correct to three decimal places, remember that we're, we're guessing that your calculator is not uh, one of the most sophisticated calculators uh, that will give you the, the log of base. Um, if you have it, please feel free to use it. If you don't, then make sure that you know this formula. So that's going to be log base 5 of 17. That's the same thing as log of 17 divided by log of five, it's asking to three decimal place, so that's going to be about 1.760. And then if I have log base half of 10, that's gonna be log of 10 divided by log of a half, and that's going to be about negative 3.2322. So in the next question, it's going to ask you to solve for y in the equation 100 equals 2 to the power of y. So anytime you're looking to solve for an exponential, you want to think about taking the log of both sides, bringing the y down, and um, 
So doing it the, the longer way or you can write an exponential form into a logarithmic form. So if I want to write this as a logarithmic form, so I'm going to do both ways. Um, if I'm going to write this as a logarithmic form, that's going to be log of base 2 for 100 equals to y. And I can't write 100 as 2 to the power. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to do log of 100 over log of 2 equals to y. And then that's going to be about 6.644. The other way is whenever you're looking for an exponent, take the log of both sides. And using the law that we talked about earlier, this is going to force the y to come down, and that's going to be log of 100 equals to y, log of 2. And then I'm going to divide by log of 2, so that's going to be log of 100 divided by log of 2 equals to y, and that's going to be 6.64. So you can use either way. We're all good with that.